Hello, so today we are going to learn the basics of air code and this will do because it's another question I got asked very frequently. So what is air code? Where does this strange name come from? Well, it was about 10 years ago when um, air code arrived to this planet. Maybe it was a bit more, I don't remember actually so well. And I have given it this name air code because it's a kind of a new code of playing and also it's so airy it has this sustain which normally you do playing wasn't so rich with the air code has two basic sounds the first sound that is um, the most classical sound of air code is the air drum and this air drum is this push principle applied to the mouth and this is uh, in its core the drum sound and if you can't do a drum sound um, there you will have tough time to play the air drum however uh, you can go to the drum sound video and learn the drum sound first then come here so basically you do the air drum by separating from the mouthpiece that's pretty much at the end of the ex execution and you don't need to separate a lot you just need to change the physics from the tube which is closed at one ending and open at another to be the a tube which is open at both endings so there is not much to see because the movement can be very small but this would be the normal drum sound and this is the air drum so it is either this or this depending if you move from the mouthpiece or not you don't have to go very uh, far back is enough okay so on um, the air code has this quality of sustain and it has the quality that is enriched by some intrinsic resonances uh, that come from the tube um, the second sound which is very characteristic to air code is the air chord uh, this is done in such a way that it's like a reduced jaw movement and it's a bit tricky to show because everything is inside but as you move the jaw down and up and the tongue with it once the tongue pushes in the air and the lips make a sound and the other time I think it makes a vacuum so by doing this you get this chord sound okay it's like a, some picking of the strings now when you put present it to the mouthpiece it sounds much richer and better and together these two guys um, these two sounds they uh, create a universe of, of their own so for example Mm, even with very simple combination of the two you can have the beats and some decorations in between but the quality of sound here is essential so you have to be able to hear your um, your resonance is coming back at you from the mouthpiece so if you do and you present your ear to the mouthpiece you should hear the sustain for a while and when you're in a live or studio situation when you're amplified then you can use compressor to take more of that sustain out and it's very similar with the chord sound so some examples of air code playing would be for example, Lake of Awareness. Maybe you know this song, maybe not. It's from the album Cosmopteryx. It was one of the first songs I made um, that had a whole part of it with uh, air code. But the air code can also be uh, more aggressive and uh, more powerful. 
incredible amount of variations and you will learn that everything that comes uh, from the normal didgeridoo playing can be adjusted in a certain way to cross the non-drone region and then to the air code region and that you can use even uh, the articulations that you learned before like takawaka you can um, change it so that the ta gets uh, the drum and the kawaka gets the chord Of course, you can use your voice here. But first, I advise you to uh, really go through the basics and learn the proper air drum an air chord before you go into anything else otherwise your sound will be very messy and you will never reach high level of the judo playing okay so remember this and this and you need to be able to breathe on both and you can naturally do that because tongue is in such position that you can inhale um, more questions and uh, more examples and more teachings about the advanced air code playing will be covered in some later videos. Until then, enjoy, explore the channel. There are many more uh, lessons and uh, subscribe if you like it. If you are looking for a good air code did you can visit our website and uh, practice every day at least three minutes and spiral out.